Hey, it's Ryan at Watkins Performance Innovation. I want to take a few minutes to um, discuss our drop-in piston package for the uh, Gen 5 LT engines. We've got hundreds of customers out there running these things with great success. You know, we wanted to have a zero balance solution for these bigger power cars, you know, up to about a thousand horsepower is what we rate this kit for. We've had guys make more. Um, and to get there, you know, we had to, obviously we needed to retain the factory bob weight. What's interesting is that each OEM component is a different weight than each aftermarket component, yet the bob weight comes out the same. And that's because rotating mass and reciprocating mass are calculated differently when you're figuring the bob weight. So you can use a, a Google search to figure or find a bob weight calculator. We're going to have some nice still shot images of each uh, individual component, both on the OE side and the aftermarket side, uh, to show you the individual weights where you can figure the bob weights yourself. 1,894 grams, calculating for four grams of oil on each setup, um, is where we ended up. It's been spot on on money. So I just wanted to, you know, kind of describe how that that works um, because it's not you can't just sum this weight up for the OE and sum this weight and say this is what it is that's not how it works I'll tell you what a couple years ago we we approached Diamond we wanted a nice drop-in solution for these big power guys and um, we uh, we wanted to use a, a Compstar H beam rod um, very common readily available rod it's a fantastic product we got this information to Diamond, we went back and forth, and they did a fantastic job designing this piston for us. Uh, it's, it's very beefy, um, it's got huge valve reliefs, 200 thousandths valve reliefs for the uh, larger cam guys, and it retains the factory compression ratio, which is huge. Um, some design differences versus the factory piston, obviously this is a full skirted piston, but our dome is a little taller because we needed that to oppose what we lost in volume with the valve release. Secondly, the, the factory piston is about 12 thousandths in the hole uh, below the deck on a factory setup. This piston is right at zero deck. It's right at, you know, within a thousandth of it being zero deck. So, careful measuring. Um, and consideration should be taken if you're milling the heads a whole lot or if you've decked your block, if you've had to deck your block. Because you can run into spark plug interference here if you mill the heads a lot and you don't check. Uh, that's just something to look for. It's not something that, that many people run into, but we've seen if we've milled the heads over 30 or 40 thousandths, because this dome is taller, that can be an issue depending on which spark plug you're running. So uh, projected tip plugs are going to be closer than a non-projected tip plug. Just wanted to throw that information out there for you guys. Anyways, uh, that's all I've got. I just wanted to uh, describe the product a little bit, talk about it, and, and discuss the uh, how we retained the OEM bob weight. I hope you found it informational. Thank you. And uh, P.S. Stay tuned for some uh, exciting developments with our drop-in lineup. Thanks.